Good morning today, friends. It's good to see you and have you join us today. Let's begin circle with calendar. Can you remind us of our month? April. April. Yesterday was Wednesday. What day comes after Wednesday? Thursday. Let's find it. Thursday. And what sound do you hear at the beginning of Thursday? Thursday. Th th Thursday. Yes. Yesterday was the 29th or 29. What number comes after 29? Thirty. Thirty. And what numbers make thirty? Hmm. Thirty. Thirty is three tens. So we'll need a three and a zero. Let's find it. Need a zero. Zero. Three, zero, or three tens make 30. And for our date, we'll say the 30th. Now, can you remind us of our year? 2020. Thank you, friends. Let's put that all together and say today's date. Today is Thursday, April 30th, 2020. Thank you, friends, for your help with calendar. Now, let's go check our weather. Let's take this time to step outside or look outside your window and check the weather for today. Is there any clouds? Is it still sunny? Warm? Breezy? Let us know. Thank you, friends, for checking our weather today. Now we've done our calendar, we've checked our weather, let's move on to our topic for today. Yesterday, we learned that rocks are made of minerals. They can be made of one mineral or several minerals. Minerals come from magma or molten rock. When the magma cools, crystals are formed. Now the size of a crystal is determined by how quickly or slowly magma cools. If magma cools quickly, the crystals are larger. If magma cools slowly, the crystals are smaller. But if magma moves to the Earth's surface and cools too quickly, no crystals are formed. There are over 3,000 kinds of minerals, and the people who study minerals are called mineralogists, and they study mineralogy. The most common mineral found on Earth is quartz, and the hardest mineral is diamond. We're going to take a look at how minerals are used and objects we use every day. This bracelet is made from copper. Now, copper can also be used in computers, lamps, and even dishwashers in wiring. This pencil has graphite in it, which is the lead we use to write. Quartz can be found in mirrors. The Hubble telescope's mirror is made using fused Quartz. Now let's take a look at some minerals. Blue apatite.
reports. Orange calcite. Blue apatite. Quartz. Orange calcite. Blue apatite. Quartz. Orange calcite. Point to quartz. Point to blue apatite. Point to orange calcite. Point to blue appetite. Point to orange calcite. Point to quartz. Blue appetite, quartz, orange calcite. Thank you for joining us today, friends, learning about minerals. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!